You can see that I have swapped over to a unpeeled ivy weaver to demonstrate the border. And partly that's so that I can demonstrate it a little bit e easier as to which is the weaver and which is the spoke. So it doesn't all kind of blend in together. Um, and I don't mind telling you, this is a very simple border, but I still had to go back and look at a video because borders are tough. And if you mess it up, you've kind of messed up your basket. This is probably one of the simplest borders and I still have to walk myself through it every time. It's called an abrupt twined down border and I'm doing it, I'm doing the spokes to the inside. I just like the way that looks a little bit better. You could also do them to the outside. And so you've got your uh, long weavers here and you wanna take your bottom one, take it to the inside of the basket, that's the inside of the basket. Fold your spoke down and take the stitch back out in between the next two spokes. I'll just do that again. Take your bottom weaver, take it over the top to the inside. So you can see it's the top view there. And go quite snug and quite tight uh, cause this is, this is the rim and it needs to be snug and tight. And the reason I have these right now is to pull these down a little bit more cause these are quite stiff. And so if they're not laying flat, um, you'll want to pull them down more and it can be tough to get in there with your fingers. So these little pliers definitely come in handy. And so I'll just do that a few more times cause I know it takes me quite, quite an effort to really focus and get this. There's your bottom weaver. Take it to the inside. Fold the spoke down and sort of to the, you're kind of going forward to the inside. You're kind of folding the spoke in that direction. And then take that, take that top weaver and take the next stitch in between the next two spokes. And we're gonna go back and pull that down. You can really kind of rank on this. It's, you know, it's ivy, it's tough. And I probably should have been pulling it tighter, but I'm gonna keep going here for the sake of this demo. There's your top weaver. There's your spoke folding down, holding it. Your left hand again is doing a lot of work. Take that weaver into the next open area between the next two spokes and pull tight, pull tight on everything. Pull tight on your weavers, pull tight on your spokes. There's the bottom weaver going to the inside, spoke folded down, next stitch being taken into the next available space in between the next two spokes. Okay. And again, bottom weaver or left weaver to the inside. You see that there? We're gonna fold that spoke over to the inside of the basket and push it down, push it down, holding it there and then taking the next stitch in between the next space there. I'm pulling so hard, I'm kind of tugging the, uh, <laughs> I'm kind of tugging it all down. So I'm just gonna take a minute to adjust that. Pull that back up, there we go. And we're just gonna continue on. Here's the last two spokes standing. We still have our weavers. I can't really remember what happened, so hopefully it comes to me. Let's see, all uh, right. There's the stitch that goes to the inside. Fold the spoke down. You wanna, that would have been the next available space because there would have been a spoke there. So we're gonna take the next stitch there. And that goes to the inside, that folds down. And I think what I'm gonna do is grab my trusty, this is a upholstery needle. 
it's quite thick. And what I'm gonna do, so the main thing is to kind of just follow the pattern. I have messed up many a border at the end like this, and it, I'll probably mess this one up too, but I'll just do the best that I can to kind of tuck the ends in and uh, make it look pretty. So, so I tucked that last spoke in on what I'm doing now with the weavers. Oh, let's see, get some light on there. You can see that is I'm tucking them on the in, I'm tucking this one on the inside and I'm just going to pull that down so it's secure. And you can be a little bit, I'm being a little bit lazy fair about how to finish this border because there are many more people on the internet, much more experienced than I am and have much better videos <laughs> than I do about how to turn down a border. If you just start Googling, um, you know, border finishing, finishing a border basketry, you'll come up with many, many videos that are going to be uh, a little bit better produced than this and show with the detail that you probably are going to need a little bit more. Um, but what I, all I'm really doing is kind of just tucking those ends in wherever it makes the most sense and kind of looks the prettiest, right? So I'm going to now, so I tuck that one onto the inside. This one, I'm probably just going to tuck, I'm going to tuck it right in there again. And here's how I think we did the handle. <laughs> this little handle here that was done during class. This was me practicing a different handle later. Um, this piece of ivy I had partially peeled. It was just sitting outside. So uh, we've put it, put it, I've put it right around the rim. There's, there's the rim here. So it's going through there and I'm doing like a little wrap. I'm not, I, honestly, I'm not 100% sure if this is how we, how we did the handle, but this is how I'm going to do it today. And just twisting it around each other. And again, the ivy's quite strong, so you can just sort of manhandle it into shape here. Um, the main thing is that you kind of tuck, tuck the ends, weave the ends back into this rim and you won't really see them. So you can kind of, you can honestly just kind of wing it uh, as long as you loop the other loop the other side around and then go back and wind around i'm going to tuck this end away we want to follow that spiral around make it like a wreath if you can imagine the way a wreath follows itself nicely like that again following that kind of spiral there and I'm going to loop it back around. Uh, if I have enough length, I could even go back around again and follow that spiral some more, make the handle thicker. That's kind of neat little rustic bits there. And I think I will. I think I've got just enough to go around again. And yeah, so I will tuck this in here I'll make it look a little bit more pretty. And then this, this piece, I will just weave in here with my, you may have noticed this, this is an awl, this is for Willow. Um, so you don't have to have one quite this sturdy, but it's great for poking holes in um, stiff material like this. And that's, that's not bad. And so what I'll do is I'll weave that in and out just a couple times so that it's secure. And now I'm just going to trim off these bits from before. And now is the time if you want to do any trimming. I kind of like the rustic look. That's kind of what this piece was all about. You see these really long pieces on the inside. I'll trim those off. Just be careful because if you snip one of these spokes, you're, you're kind of hooped. And this is because this is still damp, you can really it's really shapeable. So if you want something that's like, oh, I wanted this more flat like that, you can just uh, put a few clips on it and however, you know, you can dry it like that and it will dry into that shape. And that's kind of part of the magic of uh, basketry materials for me is, um, you know, it dries into the shape. 
that you make it. Now these spokes are looking, you know, it's it's a rustic rough kind of a border. So once they dry, I might go in and trim them up a little bit so they're a little bit more like like that, so a little bit tidier. But I'm just gonna let them dry first because I've learned the hard way that, especially when it comes to a border, uh, you'll wanna wait till things mostly dry before you go around and trim in case you wanna do any final adjusting. Um, like I'm tugging those down and see how that little guy's kind of sticking up there. And I don't wanna, I don't wanna cut him too short because uh, the border will pop up. So he's sticking out if I don't like that. Just put a clip on there to, and it'll dry flat. Same with that guy right there. Oh, that's, that, that's not bad. So you can do that with any weird sticky outy bits. You can, you can, if you have a larger sculptural piece, imagine this really big, put a bigger heavy rock on it while it's drying and it'll dry into this kind of scoopy, interesting shape like that. That's part of the beauty of this, of this um, loosey goosey kind of a style. So hopefully this gives you some ideas. There you have it. I think it, I think I've redeemed myself. I think it looks better than this one. Let me just take this off. It's definitely stronger than this one. So yeah, and I like it with, I really like it actually with the um, unpeeled border. I think that looks really nice. Have fun.